and CMSD must move all principals and assistant principals to performance-based contracts. Eric Gordon is the new CEO of the Cleveland Metropolitan School District, and he's already putting his ideas out there. Gordon is no stranger to Cleveland schools. He was the district's academic officer. But he was not one of the three finalists for the job. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska joins us now. Paul, this was a surprise. What gave Eric Gordon the edge? Well, he's a familiar face, having worked here for four years. And according to Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson, Eric Gordon is just a good fit. What is Eric Gordon's first goal as CEO of Cleveland Schools? We must absolutely increase our graduation rate. Today, only half of the students who enter a CMSD high school as ninth grade students will graduate four years later. Former Superintendent Eugene Sanders, who quit unexpectedly, was making $273,000 a year, had a chauffeur, and lived in Brattonaw. Gordon, who is 40, lives with his wife in Cleveland's Ohio City neighborhood. As chief academic officer for Cleveland Schools, Gordon's total compensation has been $201,000 per year. He said his contract as CEO will not approve approach Sanders, but gave no details. I have specifically agreed to negotiate a one-year contract, a no-frills contract, for my employment as CEO. Gordon, a former principal in Toledo, was hired by Sanders in 2007. Sanders was reportedly a finalist to lead Bowling Green State University. I asked Gordon if he has a successful year, would he stay or pursue job offers at, say, a Bowling Green? <laughs> Well, I am a Bowling Green Falcon, so <laughs> um, I am committed to the city of Cleveland. I was committed to the city of Cleveland as the academic officer. Uh, no one can predict their future, but I've chosen my home and my family here in Cleveland. Late this afternoon, the teachers union told us they like this guy. And I think it's a, it's a pleasant surprise. Cleveland teachers will say almost to a person that they've had a very good working relationship with uh, Mr. Gordon. Now, Eric Gordon has a master's degree in education from Bowling Green State University. Reporting live downtown, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Paul, before you get away, let me ask you, when does Gordon's contract officially go into effect? That contract that goes into effect July 1st. They're still negotiating all the details of the contract. Okay, many thanks, Paul Kiska, handling the story up for us for the new CEO of Cleveland Schools. Well, Eric Gordon now earns just over $200,000 a year, 201000 That's more than Ohio Governor John Kasich makes. And a five-on-your-side investigation found Gordon is not alone. Investigator Sarah Butterson uncovers who is raking in the big bucks in other districts. We'll have the story tonight at 11 o'clock.